Join Rainy the Earthworm as he explores the science of rain and its role in the water cycle. Wow, what a rainy day. I can't wait to explore and learn more about rain and the water cycle. Uh -huh. Aha! So this is where rain comes from. As the air rises, it cools down and water vapor condenses into tiny droplets, forming clouds. It's fascinating how these tiny droplets can form into big, fluffy clouds. Look at all these plants and animals thriving in the rainforest. Without rain, they wouldn't be able to survive. Rain is truly a gift to nature. Rain is essential for growing crops. But too much or too little rain can also cause problems, such as flooding or drought. It's important to have just the right amount of rain for a successful harvest. Wow! The river is flowing so fast. This water must have come from somewhere else. I wonder where it's going. Ah, so this is where the river ends up. But what happens to the water in the ocean? I see now. The water cycle is a continuous process of how water moves around the earth. Rainwater flows into rivers and oceans, evaporates into the air, and then forms clouds again. It's amazing how rain plays such a vital role in this cycle. Rain may seem small, but it's essential to life on our planet. I'm so grateful for the rain, and I hope you are too. Remember to appreciate the wonders of the water cycle. Thanks for joining Rainy on his journey to explore the science of rain and the water cycle. Keep exploring and learning.